Hey, Crashed Ship Guardians, Radamon here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld, the first one to go. Episode 233, Line of Fire. At the start of the stream, um, I want to take advantage of one YouTube comment I had, which was to move around the neural superchargers, which use a whole lot of power in order to more evenly distribute the power needs of the base. So right now, the third section of this base, this area. So if we take a look at the power grid again, we've got, um, I'll just use plans. So this area roughly is one power grid. And then this area is a power grid. But then this whole area is a power grid as well. And the third one uh, requires a whole lot of power. And one thing that we could do is to pull the neural superchargers off of the overtaxed power grid, which would be the eastern one, uh, and just sort of distribute it more evenly amongst the other three power grids. Um, so the first poll I, I want to put in is, should I add some extra power generation to the base? Yes or no? So that would be, what that would look like would be something like possibly flickable. Oh, uh, that pole's in the wrong spot. There we go. Uh, what that would look like is possibly chem fuel generators uh, in order to turn them on and off to add some supplemental power for uh, grids that are browning out or to blow up some of the solar power generators that we have uh, to work, you know, more wind into the system. Uh, where it is applicable. So I could add some wind down here, you know, so on and so forth. So the, that's sort of the question. And, and there's a bunch of different options of like what power generators I could add. Um, you know, I could even go so as ridiculous as to add um, ship reactors. I would need to remove the roofs, but the advantage of ship reactors is it does make a thousand watts like a vanometric power cell and you don't need to spin it up. Uh, but yeah, even before that, I want to start moving around some of the uh, neural superchargers so that they are more evenly distributed amongst the base. It's also possible to add additional um, batteries, right? Because if we added additional batteries... Um, You know, we could do a little bit more storage. Every additional battery that we add is a little bit more explosion that uh, that we might have to contend with. But, you know, so be it. You know, that might be fine. Sort of up to you. So I've moved five of the, uh, yeah, five of the neural superchargers from the east section to the west section. And then I'll probably do the same for the middle section. In fact, I think the middle section is probably the most powered of all of the sections, or it has the most excess power. So that should be good, uh, distributing that load. Because these superchargers require uh, 400 watts, which is no small amount of wattage. So they're uh, rather high load intensity for all of our transhumanists to get their supercharge. And then the real question will be, once I flick this light switch off, or this uh, power switch rather, um, how will the individual power grids deal with load? Uh, and we'll we'll see the result of that in the batteries, right? So this is the western batteries. This is the central batteries. Where do I even put the eastern batteries? Oh, uh, down here. Here's the eastern batteries. Growth moment for Mike. Oh, great. A seven-year-old misandrist.
Oh, there's still some plans to be removed. So other uh, base maintenance. We have the two Hussars gene regrowing, uh, which will be done in just moments. So Star is about to get thrown into the extractor and that will, uh, let's go ahead and trigger a, a little prediction for it. Where is Star? There you are. So there's really only one gene that we're after now from um, Hussars and from High Mates. So Hussars, uh, we are looking for red eyes and red eyes only. So it's a very small chance, but uh, regardless of the small chance, we're gonna bet on it anyway. And it's very not necessary, so at, at any point, if I want to just like kill off the Hussars, that's fine. You know, they're not mission critical. Uh, Kath just had genes scanned, but we'll need death rest. So I'm going to start death resting with Kath. And then Sentinel has a little bit of... Uh, they're on different death rest schedules because Sentinel had um, suffered uh, sizable damage. And that's another thing I wanted to pull, whether or not um, Sentinel is going to get healed or not. Um, that I guess I'll leave up to you. We'll see. So, should I add some extra power generation to the base? Is it yes? Um, what power generators to add? So, we have chem fuel generators, wind turbines, toxifier generators, or ship reactors. And I'm going to let you vote on that. You know, I can also do solar. Trying to think, is there anything else that would be applicable? Because I can't, there's no water. And there's no wood. I'm not going to do wood fire generators. That doesn't make any sense. So, there's a follow-up poll about these specifics. So the advantage of like something like Toxifier or chem fuel generators is they're relatively expense in inexpensive and they can be flicked on and off at a moment's notice to make sure that certain networks don't brown out. Some growth moments. And then the toxifier generators also produce a lot of electrical power. Um, the cam and wood, about a 1k. Wind turbine and, and solar is obviously variable, and that variable has been a bit of a problem. And then there's uh, ship reactors, which would be a very expensive way to produce our power, uh, but reliable, at least. Saving Dark Eye. Dark Eye is an Edekin who wants to be rescued by us. I don't think he understands who he radioed. He didn't exactly radio someone willing to rescue others, but okay. You know, whatever. He was an optimist, hoping that we'd care, and we didn't. Calling in, because we're heading into uh, summer, calling in trade caravans, because uh, that's the best season to do it. Done. So many growth moments. Corpse Rouge is looking a little full again. In like a good way. Right? We like corpses. Or, well, Wendy does. So I added one more battery, so there are uh, six batteries per network. We'll get the sixth battery um, built and fully charged. It looks at the moment like every single individual network is topped out, which is good. 
So a mix of chem fuel and ship reactors is going to be the answer. Got it. So in order to do that, I want to do a little bit of a study. Uh, the study being what networks need the most help. So re ship reactors will add a reliable baseline of power, whereas chem gens can be flicked on and off. Um, it's reliable, but then of course it requires chem fuel, so it's not necessarily inexpensive or free. Whereas once you have the ship reactor built, it's free power. Oh, we are still cleaning up pollution. Someday that will all be clean. We'll see. The other quest that I have is to accept the refugees. That's weird. Why wouldn't that link to a building? And the refugees are going to be used to be able to split genes. Okay, yeah, it's linked. Just said it wouldn't. So that is a an impressive enough bedroom to meet the standards of account. Which is something that we wanted. Hey, Sappo, thank you for the resub. And Rexy as well. I missed that uh, a little while ago. And Nemi too. Man, I list, uh, missed a lot. Okay, I've made this mistake before. There we go. Continuing to paint the colony red. Burgundy. I guess technically it's burgundy. We almost have, I mean, not almost, but a lot of the walls have been painted. And then what will be left will be flooring, which will be an insane cost. But Wendy is a little vain, you know? She, uh, she supports vanity projects, like this one. I mean, it is her workshop, after all, and she didn't want it to look like an ancient danger, so this was the cost. All right, the other thing we're going to have here in a minute is an influx of refugees. Um, but uh, let me quickly pull about... So here is a little poll. Um, so if you recall, there was a bit of a grand um, slave rebellion and Sentinel had his arm lopped off and his foot lopped off or destroyed, I guess, technically. Uh, so he, what we were using him as mostly was just like a hauler and a cleaner, really not much else, but uh, he's currently kind of broken. Right, and Wendy created him mostly to scan his genes, so it might not be necessary to like fix him because he's really just uh, uh, an individual that we scan the the uh, what's it called the uh, sanguifage genes on. But um, ultimately, I'll have you guys decide whether or not we're going to fix him or not. And we have an available ship crash. Man, there's a lot going on. Wow. All right. Well, we'll have more polling. I'm going to not leave five minutes for that then. I'm going to wrap that up in just one minute. So do we fix Sentinel? The other alternative is uh, we could potentially bile sculpt him. Bile sculpt re um, regeneration cycle. 
but uh, I don't think that's going to restore limbs or even feet because he's not he's just he's not missing fingers and toes or eyes or something like that see I would probably have to be done in bionics Whoa, there is a shortage of rice. We did have a very prolonged brownout. So it looks like the middle section is struggling, as you can see. Um, we'll see if it actually browns out tonight. The western section is doing just fine. The batteries are holding pretty well. This middle section is in the hole about 6k watts. And then the eastern section is super close to browning out. So the eastern section probably needs the most love. And you guys want to fix them with bionics. Got it. All right. So that would be a foot and an arm. Not that you can make feet. So a leg and an arm. Which, honestly, the bionic leg is just going to encourage him to try to rebel even more. Just throwing it out there. The faster that your slaves move, the more likely they are to try to escape or rebel. So, peg leg slaves way easier to manage than f free to move about slaves. Well, that's fine. Um, Alright, so the eastern section is having to brown out, and you guys wanted me to do it with chemgens and uh, ship reactors. So, I think what I want to do first, however is to work wind into the solar because there's no reason not to do that and then i will rely upon chem and ship reactors to even it out we're giving him a chance to, to behave otherwise he'll be known as stumpy uh, fair enough yeah I mean, T-Sang certainly had a lot of chances. And, uh, he sort of violated our trust continually. So, like, yeah. We'll see. We will see. Is this pretty much up to date on YouTube? It is. Uh, everything is. Everything that I stream will be up to date on YouTube before the next stream. That's... Unless stated otherwise. It happens, like, a few times a year that that won't happen. But generally speaking, it always happens. Because I make it so. Looks like the center section also browned. Uh, some of that is just because we are atomizing a lot. Uh, and that's a lot more power. But, you know. Obviously, we need a little bit more uh, power generation there as well. And, and again, I think anywhere where it makes sense to have solar, I might as well have solar. Because solar is um, cheap and, and, and once built, it's pretty free. So... I'm going to get uh, two more solar panels, and those are actually on two different networks, if I am not mistaken. One is on the Eastern Network, one is on the Western Network, or Central Network. Oops. So the Western did not brown out. Oh, and we have a, a healthy vat birth. Cool, well, that's a giveaway. So it's gonna be really easy to figure out. Uh, this is a super immune mini horned six. Got it. Uh, so I'm gonna spin up the giveaway and good luck. The other thing I wanted to ask, which will be a very quick poll, do we accept the ship crash? So there's uh, some royals that are currently crashing. You know, I kind of wonder if Wendy is responsible for these crashes. Like if she has like an EMI field around her base so as to not get spied on and anyone that flies through it ends up crashing. Um, so it's a bunch of impids and the rewards are actually pretty decent. The third reward, I think, looks maybe the nicest, which is 25 advanced components in plasteel. The advanced components being the uh, the 
the real cherry in that deal. But uh, ultimately, if you guys want that, um, if you want to accept the ship crash, the specifics will be up to you. So although the western section is doing the best, you know, actually taking a look at this, it doesn't really make sense to try to put wind in here because I'd really only get one turbine and one turbine's not really going to be a lot of power in the larger scheme of things. There's this whole center area, which obviously could be dedicated to wind and, and uh, solar. But one of the reasons why I haven't done that is my, a lot of my people are sort of uh, photosensitive and I don't necessarily want to um, open up the center of the base to light because nobody really wants that much illumination going on, which is, I think, fair and understandable given uh, people's feelings towards uh, high-powered sunlight. As one of the things I like to say, screw that noise. Um, all right, looks like uh, it's going to be yes on the ship crash. What reward? We're going to have to do this quick because the ship is about to crash. Uh, so number one is honor. Number two is an Altec staff, Altec skull cap, and gold. Number three is 25 advanced components and 65 plasteel. I have plenty of plasteel, but uh, the advanced components, especially especially if we're going to be making ship reactors in order to power up the base, uh, each ship reactor is eight advanced components and 100, uh, 280 um, uh, plasteel. So having a, a lump sum of advanced components just given to us, able to, to allow us to craft four ship reactors out of them, uh, is is pretty sp pretty spicy, if I do say so myself. So it looks like during the day, there's plenty of power. Um, there's plenty of power excess for central and east power grids. And the only only way to really make advantage, take advantage of that is to like add more batteries. Um, any good position on where to build the ship reactors? Yeah, I mean, I could build a bunch of ship reactors like here for the eastern section uh, or even central section. You know, or I could put, um, I could even put ship reactors out here and move my external walls. That was uh, an idea floated last stream because the prison now shares an external wall. So there could be a possibility of that. I'll cross that bridge when I get there. I'm not, uh, not worried about that just yet. All right, looks like you guys want to do reward three. And we had another vat berth. So here is our two new babies. We've got a seven and a six. Uh, both of them can potentially be colonists, so I'm gonna implant the baby xenogerms, and it then occurs to me that we are about to be out of baby xenogerms. So I'm gonna have to whip some more up. So let me make sure that I didn't screw up the baby mark twos. So this is the baby mark two. And what it should have is the greats. So if I search great, it's missing great plants. No, it has great plants. Uh, wait, do I have a, what's going on? So this is Cycle Goodall great plants, and then I have a copy of it somewhere? Yes. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, so yeah, Baby Mark twos are still the, still look fine. And I'll have to sort, uh, once I cook up those two more implants, I'll sort out the copy of that gene bank that I, I don't need. All right, so they landed or crashed rather in a rather obnoxious area. Meaning that they are uh, right next to the edge of the map. It's obnoxious because it more or less guarantees that um, that the enemies are going to spawn like directly adjacent, as that almost always happens. And was that the raffle timer? It was. So I'm going to raffle off the seven first. Uh. Okay. Seeing that you won, what did you have named after you previously? Was it a mech? Or someone that I've killed? Man, it gets really confusing. Or are you already in a vat? 
You're in crypto. Oh, right, right, right. You're right, right here. You're right there. Uh, do you want to trade up? Oh, I can reroll. All right. All right. I miss auto attacks. Very interesting name for a baby. Is this the correct one? I want to name the the correct baby. Yes. Uh, if you want to change the name, I have a channel point redemption for that that I am unlocking now. And then the other one, going to Shihoru or Sihoru. Okay, cool. And both of you are potentially colonist material because you don't have flawed genes. Um, what genders were you? Both female. Okay. So, and you won't be crypto vats as well because only males get thrown in the crypto vat. Sending all the mechs to go hang out with the crashed. So I probably have to... Pre oh, wait, you're a Hussar? Who's... What? Excuse me, dude, but... What? <laughs> He's a Hussar who does not fight. Cool. I think he's one of the two that needs to be protected. Oh, yeah, there's going to be a lot of collapsing, huh? Uh, hold on, don't break those yet. Useless Hussar. Well, he's one of the... He's one of the... Colonists or whatever. He's not actually one that I have to protect. So, I think that, as a result, means... You know. Yeah. The babies are currently starving. So, we're doing a really good job of doing those, uh... Medical implantation. Oh no, they're already, uh, they're already in the Zundu germ comas, so both can be put in. They both have had the baby mark twos. All right, let's put them back in. And then I'm going to start to stage my people to defend. So I'm going to let, um, here, I'll, I'll put the babies in first. And then I'm, I'm going to let uh, Wendy sleep in. She doesn't get enough sleep. All right, my people are headed up. Is the Royal a single phage? Oh, that's a good question. No, baseliner. Yeah, every now and then the Royals will secretly be single phages. Doesn't happen often, um, but it can happen. Hey, bud. Here you go. I don't have a Tusky anymore. She left. So once the ship reactor people have been defended, uh, we'll start working on the other things. Always juggling multiple, multiple tasks. All right, line of brawlers. Line of shooters. And Bryze it. I guess Wendy will come out here too, because I'm sure she wants to shed some blood. Yeah, she doesn't, she hasn't had recent kills. Hope she's not uh, late to the party. And it's, well, oh, she's going to be a little late to the party. Uh, where is Bryzit? Oh, okay. I like to, especially with the Impids, um, get some Berserks on them. Because then they start fireballing themselves and not me. 
Because these guys are hitting me with like, uh, with like flame stuff, which is annoying. They're just really easy to, you know what, let's just, well, I don't want to jump in because I don't really want to be set on fire a bajillion times over. Another reason to have uh, fire resistance as a, uh, you know, as an implanted gene, this would be case in point, because it's annoying to, uh, to get burned. I sent some brawlers in to try to lock them up into uh, melee combat. Yeah, Wendy, actually, given how much fire is up here, just like sit this one out. You're really not missing anything. I mean, the impids are getting wrecked. And I am sending in sh my shock troopers with like near complete disregard for their their self and healthy yeah, health self and healthy uh, <laughs> health and safety but uh well yeah this is no place for anyone that is uh pyrophobic in fact Bryza, you might want to back up oh we have a stillborn um all right is this stillborn they were just a six uh, yeah, we're probably not going to keep bother with the Resmec. Another thing that I could have done against these guys is just to um, solely use... Okay, they're already fleeing. I was going to say solely use my Mechanoids, because um, mechs don't really care about fire, and they could try to shoot at the mechs all day long, it wouldn't really matter. Man, I'm going to have a lot of cleanup to do. But yep, they have survived. Some mechs are going to go back to the recharge stations. I can get rid of that extra zone. I can also capture some for sacrifice if that is off cooldown. It is. Well, lucky me. And I still have, um, I still have incoming refugees. So I'm going to turn this into uh, a temporary holding cell. So let's see, Rogi. What is her bleed out timer? Seven hours, six hours. That'll do. I think both will likely survive. Trip back to the base. Nine, six, four, yeah. We only really need two. Oh, Bionic Army's done. Wendy, if you want to come out here and finish off the others, because it uh, looks like they're not going to be bleeding out too soon and the fire's going out. Um, who is my foam thrower? I always forget who ended up getting with that gene. So one is coming up just to satiate her bloodlust. Mm. 
Flame fire. Man, that didn't take very long. Ah, oh, what line of sight? That's the last fire. And now Wendy has a three more kills under her belt. She doesn't really care if they fight back. It doesn't concern her. Should Wendy be milking the boom lumps? Probably not. I'll take her off of handling. In fact, with that said, uh, t Sang probably shouldn't be doing it either, as he has better things to do. Sentinel, we do have your arm, but I'm going to wait for uh, both body parts to be obtained for Sentinel, because we might as well just have them anesthetized once rather than twice. Hello, Royals. Go on. Get out. Don't overstay your welcome. All right. The Eastern Power Grid very clearly is uh, suffering. It is, I would say, struggling to keep up. Um, I am going to put five chem fuel generators on the Eastern section. At least for now. I might end up breaking them down in the long run. Oh man. And a bunch of blight. Alright, where'd those prisoners go? Oh, you know what? Those prisoners are probably... Where do the people that are captured? Do we put them somewhere wrong? Oh yeah, here they are. Okay. So Kazrat and Kenath, and they're in the um, the hybrid prison. That's fine, as long as they aren't in the uh, the species prisons. Here's the bonic leg, and we'll do the surgery once uh, once we got all the parts. The injuries we sustained during that fight pretty minor. Luckily, didn't even really need to use medicine, but I did anyway. Their great bows might be a little dangerous if they get lucky, but we are yeah we do have pretty good armor, so not a uh, not super urgent or anything like that So the thing that I hope to do is eventually fix the power shortages. Maybe I'll do just three on each for now. I hope to eventually fix the power shortages so I don't have to use chem fuel on a normal daily basis and only rely on chem fuel during brownouts. That's the hope. Refugees have about 24 more hours. I'm going to wait as long as I can uh, so that 
I can fix the power before I accept. I don't want to manage more things than I, I actually have to. Can we make hemp fuel from human meat? No. I mean, we, we you're able, but Wendy would never allow it. For Wendy, human meat is a delicacy. It'd be like making chem fuel from chocolate or, or ambrosia or something. Like, it's just unthinkable to her. Okay, looking a little bit better. The sections that we're burning out are no longer. I think. Huh. Oh, yeah, that's a little bit why. When I uh, reworked the wall, I didn't realize that I had separated out the... Um... Okay. Made a, made a bit of an oopsie here. And caught it, I think, relatively quickly where these batteries are now separated out from the grid, as is these southern solar generators. But that is an easy fix. Which would explain the, the rolling brownouts that we had on the eastern section. Okay. Much better. Well, yeah, just the batteries are separated out, not the actual power grids, because the power grids go two different ways. Thank you for tuning in to Rimworld, the first one to go, which originally streamed live on Twitch August 6th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community, it also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. Hope to catch a next episode or upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow Wendigo, 